Well, hello there, my little pod champs. I wanted to start by saying this is not gonna be a regular video, like always, since I'm gonna be telling you a story today. A story about a man so brave he puts the legendary heroes of mythology to shame. You think Jesus dying in the cross was brave? Wait until you see this behemoth of a man. Also, this story will tee together with Elden Ring's invasion system and show what I think should be an issue that can easily be solved. I really doubt it will since from soft seems to be all about pampering those poor hosts that wouldn't hurt a fly but oh well. Today I wanted to talk to you about the time when I invaded the bravest man in Elden Ring. It all started with me attempting to commit the cardinal sin of having fun with the invading feature of the game at level 50 while trying out a new build involving poison, rot, and all those things you could find deep in the cesspools of Reddit. I popped up in Castle Morn and since the team that handles the multiplayer from software games and the impressive collective amount of 0.3 hours in PvP in their own game, I popped up in the lower and final part of the area where backtracking is impossible without using a sight of grace. So naturally, I used my red fingers to try and teleport near the titular character of this video and his brave sidekick to absolutely no avail. Which is a bummer, the red finger item is completely useless. After using my final crimson butt scratcher, I said to myself, hey, maybe they'll eventually come down and we'll have a jolly good old time a hip and hula joe be done with it and call it a day, right? Boy was I wrong. After waiting a while, I start to believe that our hero will not come down anytime soon, so I try to finger my way out of his world until I receive what appeared to be some sort of message in the form of an arrow to my forehead. It took me quite a while to figure it out, but I was suddenly struck with the thought of the possibility of our hero not having intentions of coming down to have a good old sword fight with me if you know what I'm saying. I decided to change spots, hoping this was an isolated incident, but unlucky for me the rain of wooden dildos kept coming and didn't seem to be stopping at any time soon. A few moments later I hear something coming from the back and I notice both a blue blob and a noisy piss stain throwing hands and blades at me, so naturally I take matters into hand and start poking their anuses without mercy nor consideration. The blue blob saw the beautiful ocean and decided to further his training in nose diving mid-fight for some reason while the piss stain tried to use an oversized toothpick to try and tickle my balls and make me giggle. Fortunately for me his dodge button was a little stiffy or so it seemed that way because I was effortlessly able to give him a Swiss cheese cosplay free of charge, stopping only to admire my low budget cosplay skills. Returning to our hero at this point it was very clear that he thought my poison rot was too stinky for him and so he made the brave choice to try and send me back to Missouri using nothing but a rose from a distance and also sending his personal army of rabid apes towards me. I stood there to see if by some divine intervention he would attempt to come down and resolve things in a more manly way. But it seems that the Supreme College of fucking pussies only had one summa cum laude graduate and it was none other than our hero himself. I walk back and forth a bit just to keep what's little left of my sanity intact while I patiently await for our hero's balls to finally drop. But waiting proves pointless as the constant rain of wooden cocks never stops seemingly indicating that our hero chose to remain eunuch and will instead send his simps for what's left of this were crime I seem to be committing. I suddenly hear a casual greeting from above and realizing it was not our hero nor a dove I come to the conclusion that it must be one of his sidekick hoes. The man greets me again to which I greet back and to my non-surprise he tries to send me some pee-pee from above while his dumb ass teammate dies to mobs making our blue turd try a very accurate jump attack. I introduced the man to my venereal diseases but I think he was feeling a bit too stinky about it because he decided to plunge into the ocean and take a bath. I offered him some soap but he didn't really give me the chance. Not long after that the yellow piss stain is back again, angrier than ever with the completely different approach of standing still while felling near one button, sometimes pressing two to see if it will bring him success but all it brings him is another smelly and agonizing death. After the sudden encounter I read two messages that pop on the screen which I initially thought were signaling the drop out of hero's testicles but instead they were just neon signs that announced the moment the yellow piss stain and some other blue cuck responded to their pimp blowing a dog whistle generating the primal urge in them to instantly come running in all fours to fondle his balls and cause me some harm. I deal with the R1 spamming yellow piss stain again while he desperately tries to remember what Albert Einstein's definition of madness was but it's too late for him because I already used my Rudy Tooties to pinpoint all the places where his uncle used to touch him in those long summer nights. Witnessing these events, our hero switches it up a little bit by trying to shoot poison-covered dildos to me, which I pay no mind to until two cucks arrive and they were gagged up so bad that they were blue. They clearly had the intention of violently carrying my poo, poo manufacturer without my consent. One of the blue bitches said tag your with his gardening tool and for some reason my sweet nectar of the gods started dasting like urine making it impossible for me to drink it. However, I got my revenge by giving him the cooties with some reefier smoochies. 
which he was way too busy being a branded baboon spamming the Ash of War to even heal, let alone cure, so he suffered a comically fitting death. The remaining blue ape managed to hit me with one of his 3,000 spammed Ashes of War cutting my left nut in the process, but I was able to recover it because fortunately I brought some raw meat balls that my grandma gave me that morning for no particular reason, giving me a bad case of food poisoning that was quickly cured with the help of some vitamin gummy beers. The remaining blue chimpanzee continued to sexually assault the heck out of that L2 button furiously. I honest to god believe that he showed his circle button up his ass because he never pressed it, not even once, and you may think I'm exaggerating but I double checked the footage and it's truly never dodged, not even by mistake, he really was doing a no brain activity challenge run, which I abruptly ended with my ST. TV sticks. At this point you might say, Wayfew, why don't you just go home already, let this poor man continue with his jolly co-op and move on. But I tell you my dear friend, I trusted deep in my heart that this hero would do the right thing and join me in some jolly cheeks clapping. I mean, it's just pixels you got to man up at some point in your life, even if it is in a video game. Right? Well, you are wrong that this was pussy land and our hero was the iron fist ruler of it. As I continued to dwell further in my own delusion, thinking that this guy had anything but a complete wasteland between his legs, I kept eating a rose like gummy beers to see if he would consider the situation futile and come down. But fate be darned, he just did not. Nothing was gonna make this man come near the evil red man. I take a zip but you wouldn't attempt to tell this man that he's so much of a pussy that he made me thirsty, but his only response was to blow the whistle on another one of his gimps, followed by none other than the piss stain. But this time, two of their neurons functioning instead of one, so they presented quite a bit more of a challenge. Since at this point I'm feeling a bit tired, I pull out the dolks and Gabana fragments and start sending them messages about using the shower once or twice to remove the cum stains of their pimp from their foreheads, but this caused the blue cock to calm us in the flames at the mere thought of detaching himself of his master's body fluids. The yellow piss stain seems to have reflected a bit upon our previous encounters, and this time I noticed he seems a bit more methodical because he presses the dodge button once in a while, but that didn't stop me from reposing thing is pissy self even after succumbing to my powerful fetid stingers. To no one's surprise, our hero kept himself safe in the security of his high ground, rejoicing in his croplance while dialing for more gimps to throw at the evil red man to which he received fast answers. I was visited yet again by the yellow piss stain with another blue simp gimp that unfortunately perched at the first sniff of my pack over van possibly due to being used to rancid odors only, which makes me think he would've enjoyed all the rotisie coated pokes that I gave to the yellow piss stain. Sadly, he did not like my presence straight from Alenius Privates, and he decided to run to the opposite of the hills, trapping himself in the process and almost comically dying to mobs until he realized he made an oopsie and fingered his way back to his master's balls. Our hero was still in position, throwing poison dildos at me, and honestly I was a little bit fed up, but I wanted to see how much of this circus I could endure just so I could get my official clown degree until it started to rain what I thought were his TV's ridden monkeys, but it was actually our good old friend Piss Stain and the man with the broken joystick both ready to mangle some more. I narrowly avoid a gruesome fate by drinking more tang juice while I dodge the razor monkeys, spreading my Antonio band resistance when I suddenly remember that I brought rot pots straight from Malini's butt cheeks, so I started throwing them like a monkey throws poop infecting our piss yellow friend in the process, and after a brief moment of clarity where my dumb ass remembered that I had bloodhound step, I swooshed to safety successfully finishing the piss stain with some of the other end. The bravest man in Elden Ring continues to throw fake penises at me while an infuriated baboon with a curved sword chases after me like a crackhead, but now apparently his allowed 2 button is also broken because he now just resorted to stand in place while pressing R1 until his carpal tunnel is gone, reduced to a toms. So I decide to brilliantly throw a rot pot at his already rotten buttocks when I suddenly think that my sight is betraying me because I actually see him dodge for the first time in my life but that doesn't last long as he returns to sexually assault the R1 button like there's no tomorrow having me take some hits to remind myself that I never should give people the benefit of the doubt, because if they act like mad monkeys, they most likely are mad monkeys. I finish the chimp out resulting in me having only one sippy of my arranged use left while I await my next encounter with the bravest man on earth and his simps. I decide to switch to a more powerful build due to my lack of current resources when I notice that there's a moss squid on my tits. So I proceed to get rid of it as any normal person would by stabbing myself through the chest. As I gently pull out on Blessed yet again with the presence of the yellow piss stain and random blue gimp number 5. While the fight starts relatively in my favor, my lack of resources implies that there's no room for mistakes, but since I'm so fond of screwing this up, I start to comically commit fuckups as if I were a preschooler to play making little pee pee because they're funny, thus resulting in finally my demise against the forces of Jolie pimping. While my body is then a snapping, the yellow piss stain decides to give us a final message by gesturing with his arms the amount of grass he has ever touched in his life. 
and to my terrible surprise guess who shows up when the whole ordeal is done. That's it, you guessed it. The bravest man in the whole world comes down to reclaim his victory that he earned with courage and bravery. He can finally continue his journey now that the evil red man is gone. Godspeed into his journeys and hopefully he will continue to have his simps ready to fondle his balls at the snap of his fingers for Ian's to come whenever an evil red man steps out of line. And that's the end of our story, my little pod champs. I wish it had a happy ending, but this is Elden Ring and there is no such thing as a happy ending. Like, there is no such thing as dignity or balls and the people we just had our adventure with. I really hope that someday FromSoft will address not only the horrible spawning points of Summaries, but the amount of help and resources a host gets just by merely existing. The dude is a player like anyone else, just like the invader, yet he's treated like a toddler who still can't currently tell their mom that they shot their pants so they just resort to screaming, whining, and crying. I mean, yes, some of them act like that, but I do think that this scale is way too in favor of them. Having more health, great runes, more flasks, Infinite summons and the chance to simply run to a fog wall if things go wrong. I dream for a better and more balanced PvP experience where everyone is treated equally, not having a group that is pampered to no end. And I would say we are done for today. Join me next time when we finally find out who asked. That's about it. See ya.